hi welcome to today's video in today's video we'll be talking about the yardage that will be needed in making a ball dress for different ages of children this video is a is a requested video and so i would also like to explain to you the kind of the way you would use your lining and the kind of lining that will suit a ball dress okay so if you haven't subscribed to this channel yet please try as much as you can to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up thank you and let's go right into the video so in this video We'll be talking i've said it already we'll be talking about the yardages that will be needed for a ball dress for a zero to like six months old you know sometimes we have kids that want to be dedicated and you'll be asked to make a dress like a ball dress or a dress that has nets on it like below like joining okay the yardage that is going to suit that baby for that age like you can have a baby of like three months to make a ball dress for i don't know if i should call it a ball dress though it's still in form of a ball dress you know you can use like three yards three to let me say three to four yards because they don't need it too bulky depending on the kind of ball dress you want to make but for this kind of kid three yards for this kind of child three yards is just okay because you're cutting it step you can get like the length of that child is not the full length of that child is not going to be even up to 19 most times so when you lay your net to cut you cut like up to four steps of it okay so it will be full enough and you know that's like a baby you don't want it too bulky on the child or depending on what you want but that will be okay no more than four okay you'll get it full and nice and it also depends on the net so in this video i'm going to explain to you the kind of net that would suit that is good enough for okay for a ball dress you know we have different types of nets at the market we have like the mesh that we use normally for our illusion neckline that is not good for ball dress it's not going to give you that effect you will need we also have this other net it looks is also like mesh but not so soft it's not also that nice for um, your ball so i'll describe to you when you go to the market you want to create a ball dress that looks like this one on the screen what you will be looking out for is this kind of net that has bigger holes most of them have bigger holes and they are very light they are light as in they are not weighty once you just make sure you look out for the ones that they are not too as in they are hard but not so hard because some when you see them they are hard and thick when you use those ones that are hard and thick it may kick at that time but when you wash it it will go down but this one i'm telling you about you don't need to look for like hard net to put on that like this one on the screen there's nothing like that on it there's no hard net under it but see how it's kicking and whether you wash it like how many times it's still going to kick just the way it is it doesn't have any hard net under it but you will have that body effect already it's already full and kiki okay and so i've talked about the zero to six months now for one to five years we would need like five to ten yards okay we need depending why i said five to ten yards is because or oh, sorry five to seven yards 
is because we have children of different sizes, depending on how fat or how chubby that child is, the waistline, okay, if, but let me say that five to 10 yards is, will be okay for that child, okay? You will have a full ball dress. And remember, if you're going to make it a long ball dress, you would need more of the net yard, as in, sorry, more of the net fabric because you add um, more yard sweep because for the short ones, you have multiple steps, more steps because of the, the length, okay? If it's long, you know, you will not have the same um, steps as you would do on the shorter ones. So like five to seven yards or 10, depending on how fat that child is will be okay okay and then for five to ten years sorry for six to ten years we can you can use like um 10 to 15 yards depending on what you will need so if you haven't subscribed and you have watched up to this point please try and subscribe and give this video a thumbs up okay thank you for that okay so 10 to 15 yards will be okay for a child of 5 to 10 years especially if you get even 10 to 15 yards depending on the kind of net you get if you get this net i'm telling you about you wouldn't have any problems even if you use it for an adult you will have a full kiki tutu skirt okay because most times there are these two real tool okay that comes in like it comes in a row okay but you may not get it like where is there i do i look for it and i don't see it so when you check this bill net you get some of those two inside the bill net you can see it among this mesh this other net so for a ball dress most times what i do is that i first sort for the net before i think of the maybe satin i'm going to use or the kind of lace because sometimes when you get those ones seeing the color of what you need as in the net you will be needing may not be available most times when you get such requests like for a child the, the parents can tell you the color but you first tell them that this net is not easy to come by so that when you get to the market, you can call them and see if they can change their mind or something. The net is not so easy to see at the market. So what I'll advise is that first get your net before you buy other things like the satin and all. And so if you are to do a ball dress that has like a petticoat or like you're using a hard net on that. I hardly do those kind of ball dresses, but initially I do them. When I started seeing this other net and the results I, I have using them, I don't bother because the hard net one is even expensive. So if I get um, a ball, a, a net that has that, that is light and is hard, okay? There's no use me putting any hard net. You wash it, you don't wash it, it's kicking. You don't even need to start bothering yourself about it kicking. Just do the, look for that net and try it out. You'll see that you get beautiful results on your ball dresses. You don't have any problem, especially if you watch the video on how to make a ball dress for a baby. This video on the screen. You wouldn't have the finishing and all. If you follow the step, you have your ball dress kicking for both the front and the back. So if you listen to this video and you follow the step on the ball dress, how to make a ball dress on this channel, you wouldn't have a problem with the ball dress. But if you were to use like a hard net on yours, you would also be needing to, like you also be needing a lining that is not, like a lining that is not um, hard, okay? 
you can use like a suit lining or a taffeta that is if you wouldn't have it giving that child heat but the, you can use suit lining for it and it will be okay to be fine but what i do is that sometimes i even line with my satin because i don't need to use hard net okay just go look for this net i'm talking about and you don't have any problems with your ball dress i hope i've been able to explain to you how to go about your ball dress the ages and the yardages that will be needed for each child but remember if you're doing a long ball dress you have to calculate for more yards of um, nets okay and depending on how tall the kid is and how fat the child is but if you estimate between 10 to 15 yards for a child of 5 to 10 or thereabouts, sorry, 6 to 10 or thereabouts, I don't think you will have problems, okay, with it. And for, for the sake of those who will also be needing this, be careful not to use shiny face for your, um, for your ball dresses because somehow it it reveals the satin inside of it so and you know you want to see just your net kicking so and of course you know it's difficult to work with it frails a lot and it's not it gives this tear afterwards on the fabric so if you can as much as you can i use doll face okay doll face is fine for it you can use your doll face satin and you wouldn't have problems okay so if this video has been helpful please if you have learned anything please and please subscribe to this channel all right thank you so much if you have any question you can put it down on the comment section below thank you for watching and thank you for subscribing see you in my next video bye